and uh, 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 Almighty must give them the wisdom to follow this. Uh, but somehow, yeah, that'll it's have an effect. That will have an effect. Um, Gauravani, who was born into the Krishna consciousness movement, now he's, you probably heard of him because he's, he's famous for doing kirtan, for doing bhajan. Have you heard of Gauravani? What's the name of his band? Kindred Spirits. They, they play everywhere. Anyway, he's an initiated devotee now, and he was born in the movement. Uh, his parents, uh, Bart Raj and Rukmini. And uh, after some time of growing up, you know, mandatorily because he was a, a child in their family of you know following Krishna consciousness, then he went away. A lot of teenagers just go the other way. That's what they do. And then um, his his mother prayed for him constantly. Please let him come back to Krishna consciousness. There was some uh, really big uh, event where he was uh, present. And he got up and he, he honored his mother because he said, uh, even though I went so far away from Krishna consciousness, no interest in it, in fact, went the opposite direction as far as I could, uh, because of my mother's prayers, I came back. And, and became situated in Krishna consciousness. So he was saying, basically, never underestimate the power of a mother's prayer. However, you can't make somebody else become Krishna conscious unless they want to. Um, a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And you can lead a man to wisdom, but you can't make him think. So it, 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 we, we look for the willing and bring them along. And the, the circumstance of family life is such that you don't know what you're going to get. Just because you're connected with somebody as a mother in this lifetime doesn't mean that you're going to get a pure devotee because you're a pure devotee. Even all Prabhupada's children didn't become pure devotees. And, and so, it, you know, in the Bhagavatam, there are stories about this repeatedly, about, like Maharaj Anga, who was a pure devotee. And his son was the worst person who ever lived. His, his name was Vena. Actually, his name was Cruel Vena. When he was a child, in his play, he used to throw other kids off cliffs and things like that <laughs> as part of the sport and thought it was a, that was a funny thing. And Unga finally gave up his household life and went away out of abject frustration and, and just said, forget it. It doesn't work. I'm out of here. Now, as far as my own way, someone has their own way. We just follow what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. That's the standard way. In other words, as far as following a path or understanding, we have to have some standard to follow. If you go to a doctor and you ask, where's your d diploma? And, you know, how are you going to do the surgery today? And you say, well, I didn't go to school. I just do it my own way. <laughs> You'll flee from that place. At least you should. You're going to have a, some intricate knee surgery repair done. And it's like, how are you going to do the surgery? What's the, what's the situation? And it's like... I don't know all about this medicine stuff. I just do my own way. <laughs> then I, I'll go and look for someone who <laughs> does it according to the, the standard way because uh, I'm going to be in, under anesthesia and uh, I want to know that somebody's not doing it their own way. So that's not to say, you know, if there's some little faith there that we can fan that faith, but we should also not think that just because someone does it their own way that there's, you know, Anybody can do it whatever way they want. There is a way. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, manmana bhavamad bhakto. He says, think of me. And now someone may say, well, what does that mean? Well, Krishna is Krishna. You think of Krishna. Like Prabhupada says, in the Gita, Kurukshetra means Kurukshetra. It doesn't mean something else. It's a battlefield. It's actually there. It's still there. It's a holy place, Kurukshetra. So, um, own way is not accepted in serious circles. Uh, spiritual circles. Uh, there's Krishna's way and that's that's the process to follow that. Okay? All right. Pardon me? What's the role of prasadam in a, in a situation like this? What do you mean? When you're trying to... The role of prasadam. Uh, the, well, prasadam means mercy and uh, devotee's preoccupation is always looking how to get mercy and give mercy. And uh, prashadam is a kind of mercy because prashadam, spiritual food, is readily accepted. John Sununu used to be Secretary of State under, uh, was it Ronald Reagan? Uh, 
or the first Bush, under the first Bush. Uh, I met him at the airport once, and I was distributing books and Prashad him at the same time. He walked up to me, and before I, I said anything, he said anything, I handed him a lollipop, and he had it in his mouth before I could even start telling him about the book. And I was thinking, just see the, <laughs> the power of Prashad. <laughs> it goes in way before the philosophy goes in. And so, uh, you know, if you move to a new town in the middle of Iowa and you don't know anybody there and you're a devotee, right? And you're all by yourself. So you go to the bank. And the first day you're at the bank, you walk up and you make your deposit. And then you hand the bank teller a cookie, prashadam cookie, that you offered to Gordon Tai at home. And she takes the cookie and says, thank you very much. Well, it's nice to meet you. And then, then you come back a week later with another deposit, hopefully. And then you, uh, you give another cookie. And she, I remember you. That was a great cookie. Thanks for the cookie. And then the third time you come back and you give another cookie, she's going to say, who are you? <laughs> what are you all about? What do you do? And then you pull out a book and you say, here. <laughs> I'm, I read this book. Or you can start by giving, here's a cookbook. We believe in this, that, you know, by giving this spiritual food, you know. And then they're already open. And so wh wherever you go, we always recommend, for instance, if you're going to be uh, going on Sankirtan to a place on a regular basis, before you start uh, doing your book distribution or whatever you do, go around and saturate the place with prashadam. Go to every store, go to every worker, go to every policeman, everyone on the street and just say, hi, we're giving out prashadam. And in New York City, we used to have in the 70s, there was a, a program for making lug loose, these little uh, devotional sweets. And the devotees distributed it tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of them in New York City. And I remember the effect. Wherever we went, people would always ask us for those. Police would pull over their car and go, hey, hey, Krishna, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> you got one of those uh, Krishna candy things? And the, <laughs> they, they want them. And, and at, at LaGuardia Airport, I worked at LaGuardia Airport as a book distributor for several years. And there was a very strict... Um, permit system out there and there were several other groups that wanted the limited spots that were in the airport but we always got the permit New York style we had a, a restaurant there at 340 West 55th in Manhattan it was there was one devotee there she made the the most um, attractive um, cheesecakes in the world and so every uh, every month before the permit process would take place <laughs> I'd be out there and I'd see one devotee coming walking down the hall with these cheesecakes, you know, under undercover, and they go to the permit office and hand them off, and then they come back out. And then when we go in, everyone's in line and they go, "Okay, approved," <laughs> <laughs> and like the wink and the nod and <laughs> little cheesecake around the stuff. <laughs> and it happened for years, and no one could figure out why we were getting the permit, nobody else was, and. Uh, and so this, the insider, Jayananda, Jayananda Prabhu, who was so expert at uh, putting on the Rathiatras, and everyone loved him all over the Bay Area. He was that kind of person. And after every event that he did, he'd go around to all the people who had helped, and he'd give them a cake, a whole cake. He would just give a cake to this one, a cake. He was always giving prashadam. And um, therefore, you know, whenever he came for something, they just opened the door. So... Prashadam, the role of prashadam is, is profound. We should, you know, carry prashadam with you, give it wherever you go. Just, it, it lights people up, right? When we were looking for directions the other day, when we were leaving downtown, we just went to the desk, at the, it was a cosmetics desk or something like that, in the middle of Macy's. And um, Jeanette was trying to find her car. And it was like, which way do we go? And she said, oh, go this way, that way. And we just handed her a lollipop. And immediately she said, whoa! You know, it, the, the reactions that people have. At, at coming into the airport in Delhi, you know, all these guys standing there with military uniforms at the, de at the door, you know, checking all the um, paperwork. And they have nothing else to do. So they have, they're really meticulous just so they have something interesting to do to try to hold somebody up for a while because their life's so boring. <laughs> so they try to find any discrepancy on, on, the, on your boarding card, you know. But whenever I walk up to the thing, I always have prashadam, and I start giving it out in books. They don't even look at mine. The last time, they didn't even look at the thing. I, I hand in a, a lollipop, and then, they look, and then a book, and they go, oh, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna. And, and it's like, what about the boarding pass? Oh, just go ahead, you know. <laughs> 
So what's the role of prashadam? It's everything. It's Krishna's mercy. So it, it, that's what opens all the doors to everyone's heart is, is the prashadam. So we should give mercy and we should take as much of mercy as we can ourselves. Uh, which comes to a point, it is time for prashadam. Yes. <laughs> Last point. But like if you become pure devotee, then your 21 generation up and down both get liberated. So how it happened like if like you are, you know, like if they don't become, and how it, and why this has been told in Bhagavatam? This well, that, oh, it means that um, it says in Bhagavatam that when you become a pure devotee, then your, um, your relatives in your family for different generations, they also are given full facility. It means because... Um, Pure devotees are the most dear to Krishna. He's Bhaktivatsal. And you see in the life of, of Prahlad Maharaj that on down the line, everyone was given special consideration. Why? Because they were rela related to Prahlad Maharaj because he was the greatest devotee. And that included um, Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj got this great benediction from Vamandev after he took all everything away from him and then he... he you know, Bali finally surrendered himself and, and Vamandev became his doorkeeper in Patala Loka uh, to serve him, to serve his devotee. So Sanatan Goswami says in the Brihat Bhagavatamrita, why did this unusual thing happen? And he answers the question, because his, um, he comes in the line of Prahlad Maharaj. That's why he got so much mercy. Then comes Banasura. You look at Banasuri, he was an out-and-out -out demon. Of course, it was a whole line of demons. Prahlad came from a bloodline of demons. And Banasura comes way down the line, and Krishna gave him special mercy too. Why? He's related to Prahlad Maharaj. So in spiritual life, it's not what you know. It's who you know and what you are. So uh, we, in bhakti, we align ourselves. with We, we work under a devotee. That's as we take shelter of a Vaishnav. A Vaishnava is somebody who takes shelter of another Vaishnav. That's the process. And, and when a Vaishnava is asked, who are you under? You say, yeah, that's who I'm under. I'm working under. That's who I work under. Otherwise, you're not a Vaishnav. So Vaishnavas are the servants of the servants of the servants. And that's Krishna says in the Adi Purana when, uh, to Arjuna. He said, one who says he's my devotee is not my devotee. But one who says he's the devotee of my devotee, that's my devotee. And Prabhupada extends it. He says, one who says, I'm the servant's 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 servant a million times removed, that person is liberated. That person is actually properly situated. That's the mystery of, of the Vaishnavism, that the more you're the servant of the servant of the servant and not directly trying to cut in, then you're actually exalted. So it follows that same principle. It, it's all personal. It's all about affection that Krishna has and and in the material world, the rule is justice. Everything goes on according to the law of nature. But Krishna intervenes in that. And according to how we get connected, just like anywhere else, if you're connected with somebody, you'll get in. Like uh, when I was in Washington, D.C., I got into the Capitol building and I was taken through all the offices. I went through the, you know, to the Senate and to the, um, and to the um, what's the other guys called? And the Congress. And... Uh, they're really a bunch of bozos, no offense. <laughs> I looked down there and go, how are you guys going to get anything done? And, but I got in because I knew somebody that worked there. And, and he had a pass. He just had a pass and he just brought us in. I went in with a dhoti and everything else and no one said anything because I was with this, uh, with this devotee who worked in the, in the halls of uh, Congress and he had all his credentials and everything like that. So that's how you get in, the, get into the spiritual world. You've got to grab onto somebody who's got some credentials. And that means they've grabbed onto somebody who has credentials. Servant of the servant of the servant. And then you, you have some access. doesn't matter what you know because uh, as we mentioned, in the, as Brahma mentions, even the greatest yogis and learned jnanis and everything like that, they have no access to the spiritual world. But somebody who's a devotee of the devotee of the devotee, they have access to get in because they've got, they're following behind the, the guy with the credentials, Hare Krishna. We got to end, don't we? Srimad <laughs> Bhagavatam ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Gor Bhaktivinoda ki jai. Go pray manande arivo. And now we're going to have a Guru Puja. Um, 
I saw Ramananda Saka Prabhu in here about a half an hour ago, ready to do the Guru Puja. And hopefully if we can get him back, we'll go ahead and uh, worship Srila Prabhupada. Jai! Ten. I think it's about ten. Seven ninety five. So those of you who don't know the song, let's have the uh, um, song sheets, please. Hare Krishna. Here are some song sheets, the song we're about to sing. Those of you who would like one, give one to Raina, give one to Jeanette. Are there more song sheets? in the songbook also. So maybe grab a songbook or two. Sharing means caring. Jeanette needs one. There you go. What page? Page 97. 
Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Shadma Bando Mui Savadana Mate Bando Mui Savadana Mate Jahar Prashare Bhai Bhavato Riya Jai Krishna Prapti Hoi Jaha Hoi Te Krishna Prapti Hoi Jaha Hoi Te Padma Bhakya Chite Te Kodiya Ikya Arna Kodi Ho Mani Asha Arna Kori Ho Mani Asha Shri Guru Charane Roti Sheu Tamagati Jai Prashare Pure Sarva Asha Jai Prashare Pure Sarva Asha Dan di lo je jan me jan me prabhu she Chaku dan di lo je jan me jan me prabhu she Divya gyan hire prakashito Yagyan Hire Prokashito Prima Bhakti Jahoite Abhijaminasa Jate Prima Bhakti Jahoite Abhijaminasa Jate Gai Jahara Charito Gai Gai Jahara Charito Gai Gai Jahara Charito Shri Guru Kha
ಕಾನುಂಡ ಸಿಂಧು ಆದ ಮಾಜನರ ಬಂಧು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಕಾರುಣ ಸಿಂಧು ಅದ ಮಾಜನರ ಬಂಧು ಲೋಕನ ಲೋಕರ ಜೀವಾನ ಲೋಕನ ಲೋಕರ ಜೀವಾನ ಹಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರ ದೋಯ ದೇಹ ಮೂರೆ ಪೋದ ಛಾಯ ಹಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರ ದೋಯ ದೇಹ ಮೂರೆ ಪೋದ ಛಾಯ ಏ ಬೇಜಾಶ್ ಕುಶಿಕು ಬಾನ್ನ ಜಾಸ್ ಕುಶಿಕು ಬಾನ್ನ ಹಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರ ದೋಯ ದೇಹ ಮೂರೆ ಪದ ಛಾಯ ಹಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರ ದೋಯ ದೇಹ ಮೂರೆ ಪದ ಛಾಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಪತಿ ತಪವಾನ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಪತಿ ತಪವಾನ ಹಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಕೋರ ದೋಯ ದೇಹ ಮೂರೆ ಪಾದ ಛಾಯ ಪೊಯಿ ಲೋ ಲೋ ಶರಾನ ದುಯ ಪೊರಿ ಲೋ ಲೋ ಶರಾನ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಫರ ಪ್ರಭು ಫರ ಪ್ರಭು ಫರ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಫರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮಾತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾರಿ ಪಶ್ಚಾಚರಿಷಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾ ಶಿವ ಸರಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬೀಂದ
श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सरी गौर भक्त Kali kukur kadan jari cha o he Kali juga pavana kuli boy nashana shisha chinandana ga o he गदाधर मधन निताय प्राणधन अद्वैत प्रपु जीत गौरामारी विश्वम्बार श्रीनिवास ईश्वर भक्त समूह चित्त चोरा नरी शशदार माया पूरीश्वर नम प्रवर्तन सूरा गृह जन शिक्षा का न्यासी कुल नायक मारा बारा बाबा पूरा सर्वभौम शोरन गजपति थार नामानंद पोषण वीरा रूपानंद वादन शन कन पालन हरिदास मोदन दीरा गजराश बावंद जिष्ण मत शातंद कपति विघातन काम शुद्ध भक्त भावन शुक्ष ज्ञान थारन चल भक्ति दूषण राम Kali kukur kadan jadi chao he. Kali juga pavan kuli bay nashan. Shri Sachinanda Nagao He Hori Harai Namma Krishna Yadavai Namma Yadavai Madhavai Keshavai Namma Gopal Govinda Ram Sri Madhusuda Girid Hari Gopinath Maran Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Seta 
ಹರಿ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಭಾಗವತ ಗೀತ ಶ್ರೀರುಪ್ಸಿ ಸನಥನ್ ಭಕ್ತರ ಗುಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೀವ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಭಕ್ತ ದಾಸ್ ರಘುನ ಹೇ ಚಾಯ ಗೋ ಸಾಯ ಕೊರಿ ಚಾರಣ ಬಂದ ಜಾ ಹೊಯ್ತೆ ವಿಘ್ನ ನಾಶ ಅಭೀಷ್ಟ ಪುರ ಹೇ ಚಾಯ ಗೋ ಸಾಯ ಜಾರ ಮುಯ ತನ್ ಸವಾರ ಫಾರೀನು ಮೋರ ಪಂಚಗ್ರ ಕಂದೇರ ಚರನ್ನ ಸೇವೆ ಭಕ್ತ ಶನಿಭಾ ಚಲ ಮೇ ಜನ ಮೇ ಹೋಯೆ ಅಬಿಲ ಹೇ ಚಾಯ ಗೋ ಸಾಯ ಜಬೆ ಬ್ರಜ ಕೊಲಬ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಿಚ ಲೀಲಾ ಕೊಯ್ಲ ಪ್ರಖಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಿತ್ಯ ಲೀಲಾ ಕೊಯ್ಲ ಪ್ರಖಾ ಬೋಲೋ ಅನ್ನಂದೇ ಬೋಲೋ ಹರಿ ಭಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಬೋಲೋ ಅನ್ನಂದೇ ಬೋಲೋ ಹರಿ ಭಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಹೇ ಭಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಭಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಬಾಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಬಾಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಬೋಲೋ ಆನಂದೇ ಬೋಲೋ ಹರಿ ಭಜ ಬೃಂದಬಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಪದಿ ಮಜಮಿಯ ಮಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಭಜ ಭಜ ಬಖೋರಿಯ ಹರಿ ನಾಮ ಸೈಕೀರ್ಥಾನ್ ಕೋಹೆ ನಾರೋ ತಾಮೋದ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare 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 Ram 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Bajare, hey Bajar Govinda Gopala Hare. Bajare, hey Bajar Govinda Gopala Hare. Radhe Govinda Oh Radhe Govinda Radhe Gopala Oh Radhe Gopala Bajare Hey Bajar Govinda Gopala Hare Hey, Radhe Govinda, Radhe Gopala, Radha Bhakti Hari, Radha Shama Sundari, Radha Shama Sundari, Radha Shama Sundari, Radha Goku Nanda, Radha Mohana, Radha Mo, Radha Gopala, Radha Gopala. Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Shamsundar Radha Shamsundar Radha Radha Kanta Radha Kanta Radha Madhan Mohan Radha Madhan Mohan Radha Kalachanji Radha Kalachanji Radha Rasbihari Radha Rasbihari Radha Vindavan Chandra Oh Radha Vindavan Chandra Radha Ramana 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 Radha Damadara 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 Radha
Shri Maya Purnavati Tam Ki, Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Ki, Jamuna Devi Ganga Devi Ki, Sama Veta Bhakti Vrinda Ki, All Glories to Assemble Devotees, All Glories to Assemble Devotees, All Glories to Assemble Devotees, Go Prem Nande Aribo! So today is the eve of the new calendar year and it's a good idea to take some time today or tomorrow just to go over what you did last year. And um, Nirkula and I did this yesterday. We sat for some hours and went over the calendar of uh, things that we did last year. And we also... Uh, I put into my, my iCal on my computer what all the holy days were coming up, so I have an idea what's going up. It's a funny year because it's a leap year, you know. There's Purushottamas this year, which means that Kartik's going to be really late, and uh, you better take a look. And go over, if you can, all the things that you did last year, uh, how your practice was, where you went, uh, who you talked to, uh, what books you read. Make an honest assessment of how you did last year and write those things down. And then think about what you want to do next year. What goals do you want to make? What improvements can you make? Which habits do you want to form this year? You can form a new habit by just uh, deciding ahead of time that you're going to make a new habit and then incrementally implementing it into your life just a little bit at a time. It takes a nudge. You know what a nudge is? Is that a Yiddish word by any chance? It sounds like a, a Yiddish word, a nudge. But a nudge, just a little push, and, and you keep nudging something f long enough, and, and it'll move into place. And so look in the places you need to nudge yourself, and nudge yourself into better sadhana, a better practice, and all that leads to uh, a better life, and to increased Krishna consciousness, happiness on all accounts. The way to um, have disaster in life is to uh, repeat a few bad habits every day. And you may say that it's no big deal. Uh, you know, we say apple a day keeps the doctor away. And you say the Hershey bar a day keeps the doctor away. And saying it doesn't, there's nothing wrong with it right now, but in the future, it'll add up. You have to see what's going to be the effect over time. So uh, the formula for success, and there is a formula for success just as there's a formula for good cakes and pies. There's a formula for success. And the formula for success is to find out those few habits that you uh, will repeat every day that will bring you to a higher level, that will bring you to success, and then use discipline to implement those habits into your life. They don't have to be huge. You don't have to be great. You just have to find some good habits and implement them. And even if you smart start on the smallest scale that you can imagine, and that smallest increment I can imagine is a nudge. You start with a little nudge going towards the good habits. At least you should know what they are, what you want to do. And if you write them down and you endeavor for that, that's the formula for success. A few good habits repeated every day. And over a week, over a month, over six months, over a year, you'll notice the difference. And everyone else will too. And over a lifetime of someone who continues to gather together what they've done and review it and then revive it and improve it, that person uh, has a successful life. And you can do it in any sphere of your life. When you make your goals, it's a good idea to look at different categories of your life. How are you doing in your communications with your spouse or with your family members? Uh, how would you like to improve those over time? How are you doing with your health? A lot of people fall apart when they start getting around you know, 40 or 50 or 60 years old but uh, do you, there are some improvements that you can make. You started walking last year, and now you look like an Olympic athlete, suddenly. <laughs> he just decided he'd do it, and he started doing it. I, I heard about this, and I noticed. You have a spring in your stuff, and you, it looks so nice. So you, you can change. You don't have to be the same as when you walked in here today. Everyone can make a difference, but it takes brain work. That's the human being's got the, the primary factory is the brain. It's not the legs, it's not the arms. 
but it's the brain. So if you sit down and you do a little brain work, and one good way to do it is if you take a legal pad and a pen and just sit there and just start brainstorming and write down all the things that you did last year, things that you want to improve. Think about it. Just think, think, think. And that's the power of the human brain is you can think and then decide. And to make goals, there's a simple formula. Decide what you want and write it down. Decide what you want and write it down. And if you'll do that and consolidate your thoughts, then it's like the rudder. It, it'll send you in a certain direction in your life. And now's a good time to do it before the year starts because before you know it, if you don't nail it down, then you'll look down and it's going to be April. And then you'll think, oh, well, I'll do it next year. But So take some time. You schedule some time today or tomorrow to sit down with yourself, with your spouse, with your family members, and write down some things. Just get them down, and you'll see you'll have a profound change in your life. I know this prop had kept a little book. He made goals all the time. If you look back through his old letters, he had all kinds of plans and goals for uh, what today is the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. He wrote them down. He, he categorized things. He looked at it carefully. And I saw in his little book in Vrindavan that he used to carry. It was about this big, and now I carry one too. So whatever he does, I'm going to try to do. And, and, you know, he wrote down, there were some little notations I could see in there, that, uh, meet the Queen of England, and this and that. And, and so you write them down, and then you'll start gravitating towards those things. So that's the great excitement of being a human being. Use your brain, make goals, nudge yourself towards success, and gradually you'll attain all things in Krishna consciousness and every other aspect of your life where you need to have balance so you can keep doing your Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Gaur Bhakti Rinda Ki Jai. And we have one other big announcement this morning, and this is significant. Noting today that ISV again has, is on the vanguard. We just, by uh, the hard work of several devotees at the BBT in Sweden, and, and also by Rakshit Prabhu's um, ongoing diligence in making sure that everything gets done properly. We now have the first copies of the ebook Bhagavad Gita available. So this is in every uh, conceivable format on this. So all you have to do is put in your computer and in any of your ebook uh, formats like Kindle, Nook, what are some other ones? Uh, I, I, iPad. Uh, all of the significant formats for ebooks will will be able to. F take this on board and, and you'll have the complete Bhagavad Gita so you can carry it with you anywhere on your little e-reader. And um, <clears throat> of course, you can download things like this from the internet, but we wanted to have something that we can distribute to people because it's hard to hand over a, you know, just a number or something like that. So now we have a disc and this is the complete Bhagavad Gita with everything in it in an e-book format. And these... Um, Normally would be about fifteen ninety five, but they're going for ten, and you can take them for friends and relatives, and uh, it's a great gift idea. Um, we have a thousand. Yes, you can order a thousand and receive that nine hundred and eighty. Someone took a little bite out of it, huh? I see. Okay. Well, here it is. Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Yes. Oh, the Sanskrit. Well, it has the Romanized Sanskrit. We'll have to look and see it has the Sanskrit. Do you need that? Yeah. Yeah. Not sure. We'll check it out. Yeah. And um, any other announcements? Yes. Calendars. Well, the situation on the calendars this year uh, has been such, and this was really a sort of a remiss. We normally get it formed by the BBT when they arrive, but they got sold out early this year. I've had several communications with them, but uh, they've all been done from the time that uh, the approach was made. Uh, I, th I think this is an opportunity for us to make our own calendar. <laughs> so. I think that if we could have a team that could put together a calendar, an ISV calendar, some of the pictures maybe from the year, from the year's activities, can we do this? Can we just haul off and make our own calendar? We can pull uh, probably all the dates from um, 
from the BBT calendar and just put them in. And we just need a volunteer to make a calendar. <laughs> you have the software for it. Jamuna has made a nice calendar in previous years. Are you volunteering your aunt? <laughs> so, so let's have her phone, phone number. We can call her right now. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can't do an ISV calendar. I think this sellout thing from the BBT every year is, is an indication that we, we need to make our own calendar. I think it would be exciting. I saw in Toronto they made a calendar, and on it they get to advertise all the things about their own temple and every, things like that. So why don't we look into it? Um, can you look into and see how much it would be cost cost to produce it? All right, let's see. Oh, it depends how much they are, but we we've done five hundred, a thousand easily, less than. Okay, five hundred. We'll take a five hundred. Yeah. Okay, check on a one sheet also with one picture of the deities or something like that. Yeah, with the whole year. Check like that too. We could have both. I think it's a, a growth industry, huh? Okay, the, this, you've got a, you're getting the A team together here. And also, you might want to talk to Tukarong, in, uh, who's the temple president of, of um, Laguna Beach Temple. I can give you his number. And he, he's in the calendar business, so he might know more about this. He makes a fortune selling calendars every year all over America in little outlets. And uh, maybe he'll t be able to tell us something. Let's get our own ISV calendar. That's a, a goal for the new year. What do you think? <laughs> we made a goal. All right, and who cooked today? We saw Nelisha. There was a, a Nelisha sighting. You generally, there are Nelisha sightings. That means that some cooking is being done. So we, and Srinivas. Okay, Nelisha, Srinivas. Good. So all glories to the cooks. Hare Krishna. Uh, okay, cleaners afterwards, please stay and help Ramana Nasaka Prabhu to clean the temple, It'll take you about half an hour or more. And um, any other announcements? Yeah. Send in, send in your scores. There will be a, a grand offering this coming Wednesday night. Everyone, please come. And congratulations to everyone for for the uh, completing our initial goals of thirty-two thousand uh, books for the uh, marathon. Uh, last night, uh, yesterday, there was quite a few books distributed. We were at a very extraordinary event. Uh, Sri Purushottam Bai's funeral, uh, who was a great Vaishnav, recently passed away. I felt honored to be able to speak at that event. Um, and we, were, we felt like we were getting you know, special mercy from him. He was, he, he, was married, uh, he was married to his wife for 80 years. And, um, and he was uh, a Vaishnav his whole life. He spent uh, 30 years in, in England uh, taking care of one temple and the deities there. As his grandson was telling me, rain, sleet, or snow, he'd always be there every day to take care of the deities. And uh, up until his last days, he was always absorbed in uh, chanting and hearing and uh, glorious life. And, and you can see it in all his family members too, his, grand, his sons, his grandsons, everybody. They're, it's an extraordinary family. At that event yesterday, the funeral, I noticed that on the way out, everyone got a book pack. And I thought, <laughs> ISV does weddings and bar mitzvahs, funerals, everything. Wherever there's an opportunity, <laughs> the books are going out. And, and it, people were very happy to get them. Hare Krishna. 
Oh, Jai. Okay. I think Bhumi's here. Oh, you can hear me, finally. Hare, Hare Krishna. Okay, um, I, I just wondered if you had any questions. <laughs> what is the shloka that you learned this week, Mother Bhumi? Oh, okay. No, I learned um, in the last few weeks, I learned the entire uh, Tatra shloka of the Bhagavad Gita. Um, um, 10, 8 through 11. Congratulations. So. Haribo. And if Pumsa Priya is there, is she there? She's not. She's at home getting ready because we're having a meeting in about 15 minutes there. Oh, okay. Because um, uh, starting the New Year, we're going to be learning. Uh, uh, are you on your cell phone? I am. Are you getting an echo? Well, you're breaking up. Oh, okay. It's hard yeah, to hear you. I guess um, that's what I'm hearing happens with. I have a new phone, my iPhone. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> oh well, at least it cost a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, I got it free at the um, at the uh, yeah free. That's in quotation marks. I see. Um, anyhow, um, I'll do a one verse from the um, chapter shlok. Okay? Please do. Okay. Um, it goes much chitta mat gita prana bodhiyantas parasparam katiyantas chamam nijam sushyanti cha ramanti cha. Um, the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. Their lives are surrendered to my devotional service and they derive great satisfaction and bliss in liking one another and conversing about. Haribo! Thank you very much. Now our day is complete because we've heard the voice, voice of Bumi coming from a, a mysterious place. Thank you very much. And now we're going to have... Yes, sorry about it being broken. Oh, that's okay. And we expect such from technology these days. <laughs> now we're going to have uh, Prashadam. I have to run off because uh, there's a meeting happening in... A, in a few minutes, Rakshit Prabhu also has to go. So um, we'll leave you to the Prashadam prayers and to uh, Prashadam. We'll be served in just a few minutes here. Vanchakalpaturubhyascha krupasnami vacha patitanam bhavam vil vaishnavi vil namo namaha. Hare Krishna.